Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are joining us from today. I um, just want to welcome everyone. Today's webinar will be learning how to simplify the template selection process by learning how to dynamically select templates to use in a merge process. We'll be doing this by using a Salesforce formula field to help us auto-select templates based on a certain condition of the document you need to send. My name is Teresa Coltrane and I am a learning and development specialist here at Conga and I am a part of our product education and learning and development team and I'm looking forward to guiding you through today's session. Just a couple of things before we do get started, a recording of today's session will be sent in a follow-up email after the webinar. You can also check out our support site, congasphere.com, for more information around this topic. Also, please be sure to submit any questions you have via the chat window. Um, if we have time at the end of the session, I will try to answer some questions. If not, I will follow up with you directly after today's webinar. So if you are attending this webinar today, you might be wondering how to simplify the template selection process for your end users so that they do not have to worry about if they're choosing the correct templates to send to your customers. For today's session, we will assume a couple of things. Um, we're going to assume you are a Salesforce admin and have worked with creating Salesforce formula fields and created Conga Composer solutions. Now, if you haven't created a Salesforce formula field, don't worry, there are tons of resources um, within Salesforce around this topic. Also, if, you have, if you're just getting started to Conga Composer, we also have awesome resources on our support site, which is congasphere.com. All right, so let's go ahead and review our agenda for today. So we will review a Salesforce formula field and note the conditions set up to dynamically select certain templates based on what stage the opportunity record is in. So we're going to show you kind of how to get that set up for your end users. Then we're going to go ahead and edit a Composer URL and add some parameters that will help with the template selection process. And then finally, we'll test out the solution and make sure it's working correctly. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to Salesforce real quick. So I'm working from an opportunity today. Um, I've already created uh, the Composer solution that we're going to be reviewing. Um, so right now I've got my opportunity set at a stage for negotiation and review. And over here you can see it lists the specific template ID associated with this stage. So let's go ahead and run our Conga button and look at our template options. So once our templates load here, we're going to see, since we have our opportunity in negotiation review, Conga is going to select the contract template for us. So it specifically selected a contract template for us to send. So you can see how easy this is for the end user, right? I'm not going to have to choose that. Let's go ahead and change the state to something else. Let's go ahead and change it to proposal price quote here. Go ahead and save. And if you've noticed or paying attention to my template ID, that's also changed as well. Let's go ahead and run that Conga button and see what options it selects for us now. So we're under price proposal quote, and now below it selected our price quote for us. So see how easy that is? As an end user, all you have to do is click the button, and it's going to go ahead and pre-select that template so you don't have to worry about which one to choose from this list. So let's learn how I set this up. So I went ahead and created a Salesforce formula field. And if you all should be familiar with creating formula fields, if not, there's some helpful um, resources, as I mentioned earlier in Salesforce, if you use this help page here, that'll take you to some guided resources on how to build out a Salesforce formula field. But let's go ahead and review the one that I went ahead and put together for today's solution. So we've got our keys object here, um, and basically we've got it set up to say that if the stage name is closed one, go ahead and send our invo invoice templates. And so what, it, what I also added was a template ID. So when you're creating your, when you've added your Conga templates or you've added templates to the Conga template manager, remember you create a record and it gives you that specific ID tied to that specific template. So what we did is in the formula field, we went ahead and added in that specific ID for that specific template we want to use. So we've got our formula field to say, if the opportunity stage is close one, go ahead and select our invoice template. If the opportunity stage is negotiation and review, go ahead and select our contract template. And then finally, if the opportunity stage is in a price 
slash um, a proposal slash price quote stage, go ahead and select the price quote template. And then finally, at the end, when you're building a formula field, you also have to state if the option ends up being nothing or none of these options, you still have to set up a default option for it. So we went ahead and said, okay, if the opportunity stage is none of these items, still go ahead and send a quote out to that customer. So by default, even if the stage isn't what it should be um, as far as these right here, the um, Conga will know to still select a specific template by default. So that's that's pretty easy to kind of put together there. Um, it wasn't too hard to kind of just add that formula filled in, but basically we're kind of giving the instructions and what fields to update in Salesforce. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my notes here. And um, that's one way to note on the formula field, but I'm just going to clear it out and go ahead and save it here. All right, now that we've got our formula field set up, let's go ahead and edit an existing button and go ahead and add some parameters that allow us to um, go ahead and assist us with that um, template selection um, when we go ahead and run that Congo Composer solution. So we'll go ahead and um, edit an existing button over here. Let's see. So I've got our sales docs button here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click edit and I'm going to move some of these um, parameters down. So this is kind of like a typical button you might have. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the template ID parameter. So now remember, the parameter, the template ID parameter um, gets populated with a template ID telling Conga which template to select at the time of running a Conga solution. So since we created a formula field for our Conga solution, the value of this template ID parameter is actually going to be the formula field we created. So let's go ahead and add in that parameter. So we'll do template ID equals, and then we've got um, the field type is our opportunity because that's where we're running our solution from. And then we're going to go ahead and just use the insert field and we're going to choose our Conga template ID. And that's going to plug in our formula field here for the formula field we created. So if you notice, we go back to our formula field here. Sorry. We've got that the API name listed here. And it's merged it into our button here. Perfect. So now Conga knows that it wants to, in order to, when we're running this solution, it knows it's going to select um, our specific formula field based on the stages. So when we run that button based on whatever stage, Conga is going to pull back those three templates, and then based on that stage, it's going to choose a specific one. So now another good um, parameter to use when you're using template selections, especially with something like this, if there's a few selected documents you know you'll be choosing from each time, is to do a, a template group option. So if we go to our template manager here, um, I have these three different um, documents that I want to send, and I know I want them to be grouped together rather than being put in a whole list, rather than being added to this long list here. So um, I went in and actually added a template group name, which is just Aptis. So um, now when I go back to our button here, we can go ahead and add in the template group um, parameter here to specifically choose those three templates since they are grouped together. So that's another way just to kind of simplify and organize your template selection process. So we'll do ampersand and we'll go ahead and plug in our template group ID. Or excuse me, not ID. So it's just the template group and it will be actually the name that I typed in um, to um, the template uh, group on the template manager, so the opti name. Okay, great. So now that we've added both of these parameters in, let's go ahead and test out this sales doc solution. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And let's go ahead and go back to our opportunity here, the Burlington Textiles, and do a quick refresh. All right, so Let's go ahead and let's choose one of our options here. We'll just start maybe at the top. We'll do negotiation review. And we're going to go ahead and save. And let's go ahead and choose our sales docs. And we'll see what templates pull up for us in our dialog box here. So as you can see, we've got our three 
um, different documents here. And once I hover, you can kind of see in that little menu, it's got our template ID, it's got the template name, which is a contract, um, and then it's got the template group name as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. I love having, being able to hover and kind of see that detail. But what Conga did is, is it selected the contract based off of our negotiation and review stage here. Let's go ahead and test out the rest of the stages. So now let's do our uh, proposal option here. We'll save, and again, we'll run that sales docs button we just edited. And as you can see, it's selected our price quote, which is awesome. And then finally, we'll just, for fun, we'll just choose the next stage that we asked it to do, um, which was a close one. So again, we'll run that button, and it selected our and it should select our invoice for us, which it did. Awesome. So it's selected right here in the middle section. And then finally, let's just show what it does, because we did say if it was none of these options, let's just say it's this value proposition. It wasn't one of the options we listed in the formula field, but we did tell it to, by default, send the um, quote template. Let's go ahead and test it and make sure it does that as well. So you guys can see how easy this is for the end user. Um, Perfect, so it defaulted to that price quote. So this is perfect for the end user, especially if they just need to click that button and send out the certain document and not have to worry about the stage or have to worry about which documents to send. So it's a really easy um, way to simplify that process uh, for your end users. So um, this is a pretty short topic, so I finished pretty quickly, um, which is great. So it'll allow you guys to get back to your normal work day routine. Um, but that's all I had to show you for today. I'm, I'm gonna head back to our PowerPoint here. Um, if you guys enjoyed learning about this topic, we do have a webinar coming up on the 27th around select, around using the select templates parameter. Um, so basically, um, if you if you are using the select templates parameter, it allows you to select multiple templates instead of choosing one template at a time to add to your solution. You can also consolidate the templates all into one file to send out in a zip file even if you need to do that. You can also decide the order of the templates that might go out for the output. So it's kind of a cool little feature and again it's just um, processed by using the select templates select templates parameter. So that's something coming up um, on Tuesday, October 27th. That one will be in the afternoon um, in Mountain Time. So stay tuned for that. You can register for where you reg registered for today's session as well. And then, as always, we've got an awesome support site, congasphere.com. We have lots of different resources. Um, but for to find more information on today's session, you can go to congasphere.com and type in um, dynamic template selection um, using a Salesforce formula field. We've got a whole topic and article around that. Um, we also have a quick start video and admin guides. And then, as always, you can always contact us. Um, if you are new to Conga, if you're fairly new, or just want to gain more information about more of the Conga products, um, we highly recommend trying trying out Conga University. We have um, some self-paced and instructor-led courses, um, and you can check that out on our support site. Actually, I'll go ahead and navigate to there right now so you guys can kind of see where to find that. So again, our support site is congasphere.com. And there's just a ton of resources here. We encourage you to check it out. We've got videos. Um, our video from today or recording from today will be stored here under the Conga TV. And then if you do want to check out Conga University, go ahead and click on the Conga University little um, computer screen here. And it's going to take you to a page where you've got access to a list of courses and classes that are up and coming. Um, we have classes um, in EMEA and APAC as well. So if you are international, that's helpful um, to check out. But we've got some classes around troubleshooting, um, some classes classes around our other products, Congo Conductor, Congo Workflow, Solution Manager. So, um, but yeah, just come come to our support site and explore and see what else you guys can um, learn and how to, you know, advance, further advance your Congo solutions. Um, so thank you so much for your time today. Um, I will be checking the chat queue to see what kind of questions we had come in. Um, otherwise, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.